Hello again everyone, this is Randy, your sewing machine man, and what we're looking at today is a Kenmore. Of course, on my site you see a lot of Kenmore, because I'm a big Kenmore fan, and you've heard me say many times. Uh, let's see, what do I say? Just about every Kenmore that you will encounter is a good little machine, and you might want to buy it, especially one that's made in Japan, like this one is. Well, I always should always say always. Uh, or virtually, what, what the weasel words they use nowadays to make sure you don't take them 100% at their word. This is the one you don't want to buy. This is the 158.16900. And until the little plastic gear breaks down below, it is an awesome little machine. And you know, plastic's job, I've told you many times, plastic job, plastic's job is to work a little while and then break, and then there you are. So this little guy, it's got the drop-in bobbin. It's a full, uh, full rotary. It's got the internal rubber drive belt. It's a whole different platform from what you'll see in the other 158 series. And I imagine for a long, long time there, it was a real nice little machine. And I have customers that have these that don't have that broken gear. And the first thing I do when I sit down is I turn the hand wheel and see if it goes about three quarters of halfway and then binds. You turn the hand wheel around, you go, oh, it's binding. I wonder what's causing the bind. Well, this gear right here. This gear is your main drive gear. There's your timing belt over on the right-hand side, so it comes across. There's your main gear, and it drives your feet and everything. And it'll come around, and you'll see a crack right there. See that crack? goes right across there. You can put my fingernail in it. It's huge. And if it's a hairline crack, you still won't want to buy it because it's going to pop open. When that pops open, it's game over. Gear's not available uh, from Kenmore because there is no more gears from Kenmore. But if you find it, find somebody to put it in, it won't be me because a lot of times these gears are not OEM, original equipment manufacturer. They're made by someplace and God knows where. They're not round, which is a concept. As time has come, round is good. All these gears, everything has to be good. So if it's not a well-made gear, you're not going to fix this. This becomes a doorstop or a paperweight for rather large paper collection. So, the 16900, 158.16900. Always check, turn the hand wheel, see if you feel the bind. If you feel the bind, it has a broken gear. Don't buy it, which is just my opinion. Opinion is just a. Uh, fact fact collection of facts based on experience so you'll you'll say well i have one and it works fine okay good for you you have one uh, i got a gear and it's a, okay good i'm saying my experience is with this machine don't buy it 158 16900 there's just so many good kenmores out there made japan that don't have a drop-in bobbin they're 15 class either front or side load and they'll serve you quite well Right before this broke, it was working fine, like I always say. Every airplane was flying right before it crashed. Every boat was floating right before it sunk. Every sewing machine was sewing right before it stopped and seized up and the plastic broke. 